Heavenly Father, tonight we thank you, Daddy, we bless your name. Lord, we worship you, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Lord, be exalted, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, do that which only you can do tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Manifest your power, O God, tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. The word of power and grace to our life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Tonight is the seventh day out of the 14 days of the Holy Ghost convocation. And the theme of the program is walking in the supernatural. Supernatural. What is supernatural? Supernatural is means something that is beyond human imagination, that is beyond human human power. Super means beyond human calculation, human effort. And when we say walking in supernatural, it means walking in a way, walking in a realm that beyond the imagination of man. You know, when I was preparing for this message, God gave me a powerful message for this thing. And the Lord will bless us through tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 31. Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 31. Walking in the supernatural. Walking in the supernatural. Praise God. Hallelujah. Walking in supernatural. The Bible may come to understand Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 31. And the Bible says, and straight away, and straight away, Jesus constrained his disciples to go into the sheep and to go before him onto the other side. Why he went into the multitude away, and when he had sent the multitude away, he went on to the mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the sheep was now in the midst of the sea, toast with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the water. And when the disciples saw him walking on the water on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cry out for fear. But straight away Jesus spoke unto them, saying, Be of good share, it is I, be not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lo, Lord, if it be thee thou, bid me to come unto thee on water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come, when Peter was come down unto the ship, he walked on water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid 
and begin to sing. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him, and said unto him, O thou of little faith, where thou did thou, did, did thou doubt? Praise God. Hallelujah. In this passage that we read, we saw something strange that can only happen through the hand of God. And which is that's what we call the supernatural. The weight of a man is so heavy that even a baby, when you throw a baby self, throw someone self, they will go down. But at this time, Jesus was walking on water. And Peter saw him, he was down. He saw Jesus, if he died, bid me to come. And Jesus said, come. And Peter too walks on water. To walk is supernatural. The first thing is to have an encounter with the Lord. Because he's the one that can be that can that can work out the supernatural that can, that can strengthen you to experience the supernatural power or move. Mm. Your encounter with God matters a lot. When you encounter God, get ready to follow Him. Walking is supernatural does not just mean, okay, everybody doing it, let me just do it. Your encounter matters a lot. The new encounter matters a lot. The genuine encounter, it will make you to identify Jesus. It will make the spirit of the glorified Jesus to dwell inside of you. Mm. You need an encounter, the first thing to walk on water. Oh. Walking on water, it, it means doing things that is impossible for man, which is only possible for God. Mm -hmm. G Peter said, If thou, if it's thou, bid me to come. When you identify Jesus in your life, you can challenge God because of the encounter you have with him for a strange and a mysterious thing or a mysterious move in your life and your ministry. You can challenge God For a, a mighty move that is not common in your life. Peter was not the only one in the boat. But he's the only one that, made, that took that step. Hmm. Having an encounter with Jesus is not only enough again. Taking a bold step of faith to experience the supernatural. Supernatural require the hand of God and the strength of the Holy Ghost. There are diverse ways we can experience supernatural. There are diverse ways we can, we can walk on water. If only we can believe in God. Jesus said to Peter when they're going to camp in you know, he said they don't have money in hand. He said, go to the sea, the first feed that you see. Mm. Throw your hook and bring open it. You will find money there. How did money enter into a fish? It make a fish a bank. 
we too can experience a supernatural in our life. Amen. So men of God that have encountered God very well, genuinely, they have an encounter, they experience supernatural. Sure. When wow. you see people like A. Allen commanding a hand to grow, a wither hand to grow, right instantly, mm -hmm. the hand was growing out. I remember Archbishop Benson Dauza when they were building their their church, their their their, their complex, a a man fell on the top of the gallery, and he hit his head on the ground, and the leg the head breaks. And the part of the brain came out. Hmm. Everybody got that. He said, Yeah, this is a, he said, this is an action time. He <laughs> used his hand to pack the brain and use hand to join the head together, and the boy jump up. Oh wow. Wow. The oh. boy jumped up and started leaving. You cannot even know maybe maybe anything happened to him. You cannot see the traces of the damage. Hmm. Hmm. When you have an encounter with the Lord, Peter saw Jesus. He said, If it's you, bid me to come. When you identify Jesus in your life, you can challenge him to have his mighty move of his presence in your life. Hmm. You have the Spirit of God. If I may ask you this night, what are you doing with the Holy Ghost inside of you? The same Holy Ghost that it does have, AI, have, all those people they have, is the same Holy Ghost that you have. The same Holy Ghost that Peter had, that his shadows were in the sea, is the same Holy Ghost that you have. What are you doing with the Holy Ghost? Working supernatural. You must have encounter with the Lord. And you must have faith in Him. Our faith must be strong. When the faith of Peter was so strong, he was working on water. But the moment the faith started dropping because of the wind, he started sinking. Many, there are many people in this world that God have used them. They are still alive. But the experience of the Holy Ghost has vanished in their life. Mm. When a contrary wind or the world blows, and you don't have a stamina to control it, definitely that person will surely sink. That is why... When you have a encounter with the Lord, one thing that you need to ask God is the strength of God. Mm. So that the contrary wind will not blow against you so that you will not sink in life. Mm. The Bible says, if thou fail in the day of adversity, thy strength is very small. Adversity will surely come your way. How capable are you for being able to withstand the adversity? How strong are you to be able to withstand the contrary wind of the devil when it comes? You must build up your spiritual muscle very well for you to maintain a good stand with God. You must be able to build your spiritual stamina very well so that you can be able to withstand the powers of the darkness. When Jesus Christ wants to be arrested, he said, this is the hours of the darkness. So hours of the darkness will surely come. But he was able to identify it. Walking supernatural, you become a shining of miracle to people. 
You become a channel of wonder to your generations. Peter began to doubt. And his face started shaking. Peter began to doubt. And the move of God he have seen before. He never see them again. We must be able to build a strong faith in God. We must be able to have a strong alliance with God for us to experience the supernatural. We will be able to build a strong faith with God. Peter walked on water towards Jesus. Mm. But the fear of a wrong wind and waves, when he saw it, he started sinking before the Son of Man reached out to save him. Thank God for the Son of Man yeah. that came and saved him. Amen. Peter walk on water. It, it teaches us that uh, in the midst of in the middle of a storm, we can have peace if we keep our eyes on Jesus. How long, how how, how far can you travel with the Lord? Mm. Despite the fact that you know the storm, there are many storms that comes away, it can be sickness. It to give us a reason for us to be afraid. Mm. But Jesus is so bigger than what we ever what we need to be scared of. Mm. Mm. So the story of Peter walking on water is about having the courage to step out and obey the voice of the Lord. Mm. Mm. Knowing that it will carry us through and we will keep us to overcome every fear that Satan might put on our way. Amen. Having the courage. So, Father, it is Christ that is calling you. Mm. There must be a, a courage inside of you. Mm. That even if there is a problem, you will be able to carry us. Amen. When you saw the life of uh, Shadrach, Mesa, and Abednego in the very furnace, they say, Our God, we saw, is able to save us. Even if you do not save us, we will not bow. Ah, hallelujah. They say, He's able to save us. But when they step out in faith, they, everybody saw the supernatural. Even the even the Nebuchadnezzar confessed, he said, there is no God like their God. Yeah. Because they saw what they have not seen before. Brethren, the Bible says, the endless waiting for the manifestation of the Son of Man. God wants to use us to display his glory in this end time. Amen. How far can we travel with the Lord? Mm. How long, how far can you hold on with God? Mm. The Bible says when they were thrown in the fire, they said, we thought three men, but now we saw four men. And the appearance of the fourth one is like the Son of God. That one that said the Son of God, how did you know it's the Son of God? Is that you have an encounter with the Lord? How did you know? It is the Lord that speaks through his mouth so that everybody will believe. When God wants to communicate a strength into people, it will communicate in a strength that everybody has to believe. When he was one to warn the prophet, 
He used a camel. So mm. they can believe it. So our life must regain the glory of God. Amen. Amen. And Peter answered, you know, the, that, in that verse of the scripture we said, that Matthew chapter 14, 28, he said, Lord, if thou you command me to come to you on water, he said, come. So Peter get out of the boat and walk on water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sing. He began to sing. And he cried, Lord, save me. And Jesus immediately reached out his hand to say, Oh, you little faith, why did you doubt? God would have used many people mightily, but their faith is not strong. Mm, mm, our challenge right. is our faith in God. We confess Christ, but we fail to believe in his miracle. Mm. Our Mount honor God, our heart does not does not adore him. We confess Christ with our mouth, our heart, but our heart is far away from God. We read the testimony of the Lord Jesus in his word, but we fail to replicate the miracles. It's because we are faith is we don't have fear. Bible say without faith it's impossible to please God. Oh. Our faith is very important. If we want to walk with the Lord. How crazy must that have been to witness? Ever since Peter began to sing, some have criticized him. But I've yet to see any of his critics repeat his faith. The disciples who have criticized him, they will have said a lot of things. But they saw what they have not seen before. You know, there are many lessons that we need to learn from the life of Peter. Number one thing, you know, is that. Uh, for us to walk in the supernatural, according to the Hebrew chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, it says, looking unto Jesus. Jesus, yes. The author and finisher of our face. Perfect. So we need to look for Jesus and keep looking to Jesus. Amen. Not to look for him for once and remove our eyes. Keep Amen. on focusing your eyes. Amen. Even when situations are saying no to what you are expecting, keep on looking unto Jesus. Amen. Forging ahead in spite of the happening. Although storm might surround him, but Peter looked to Jesus. The, the moment he stopped looking unto Jesus and he focused on the challenge, he started sinking. Mm. God pushed some people to make some move. Go and do this, go and do that. Some people will say, if I do, it does not work. What will people say of me? <laughs> if I decide to take this step and nothing happen, people will, people will mock me. If I, oh, my Liga Daba Shandori Kalibo Ritalibo Nesu Koyena Sanda Katalabalash. The Bible said we have been surrounded by a cloud of witness. Our ministry is surrounded by an uncountable number of our angels. But we never see those things as being, being there just because we are not seeing the physical. We must keep on looking unto Jesus. Keep on looking unto Jesus and focusing on Jesus. Amen. Another thing is, the moment Jesus gives you a command, you don't have any choice than to obey. Hmm. Jesus said to Peter, he said, come. He said, come.
to follow me to walk on water. It you know when you normally it makes no sense. But Peter did what Jesus asked him to do. That is the example of a true obedience. Is there any areas of our life that we're supposed to have experienced supernatural and nothing happened? Just because we disobey the command of the law. Mm -hmm. Just because we failed to act into the commandment of the law. If ye willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Obedience is very, very, very important. Obedient to the commandment of the law. The mother of Jesus at the, at the, at the wedding of Canaan, he said, whatsoever he asks you to do, just do it. Do it. It is the commandment of the law. Faith also it is very important. Faith is simply means taking the, the, the right step. We need to take the for even if I look as if it does not just take self first. Take a self, just make a move first, first, and see maybe it will not work. There are many open doors before us, but we look at it, it appears to us as a closed door. Mm. Sometimes we stand beside a door, crying to God, God cause the door to open. Whereas the door, there was not even closed at all. <laughs> but we are praying, God open the door. God will not be missing. The door is not closed. Understanding what God has made available for us is very important if we want to triumph in life. If we want yeah. to experience supernatural in all our ways. Majority of sweet people, people you are seeing doing greater exploit around, they were not better than you. The same only yeah. goal you have is what they have. Yeah. What happened is that they took the step, they took their, they take a step as Peter took step. And they saw that everything has been available for them. Yes. Peter took one step and get out of the boat. And on the water. Peter was doing just fine when he was focused on the next step. Well, and got into trouble when he lost sight of his step. What next step has Jesus asked you today? He took the step and he saw a miracle. He removed his eyes and he started sinking. Yeah. In Luke chapter 5, Jesus made a command, launch it to the deep. He said, Me, I'm a sinner. He said, But I die command according to thy word. I will do that. And the Bible says, He launched to the deep and he caught a fi plenty of fishes that even the net was breaking. We lost many harvests because we saw, we think that there's nothing to harvest. Yeah. There are supernatural, there are supernatural opportunities for us if only we can identify or we can be able to obey the voice of the Lord. Faith unleashes the supernatural in our life. Mm -hmm. You know, Peter never experienced that supernatural before. But the moment he took that step, he saw the evidence of his actions. There are evidence that we, we are going to see too if we take steps. Brother, let me tell you, you are more than this where you are. That I say, there is a greatness inside of you that God wants to showcase to the world. All what we need is what is to take actions. 
following the voice of God, obeying the command. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, Jeremiah said, he said, the Lord said to Jeremiah, he said, Jeremiah, from your mother's womb, I've called your ordained to be a prophet. He said, I am a youth. He said, do not say you are a youth again. He sees himself as somebody that is not capable. But God has fortified him with everything he needed to become somebody in life. We waste many resources and investments of God beyond the call. We fail to obey the commandment of the Lord. There are many people that God has released them to as a global light, but they are still operating as a local champion. Mm. Just because they fail to identify what God has have in stock for them. Fear will seek you if you remove your eyes from the Lord Jesus. Let us focus on Christ. That is the main, the main point for tonight, for us to experience supernatural. We can, we'll see continue tomorrow. Let us focus on Christ. Let us, let us focus on Jesus. Let us focus on Christ in order for us to experience the supernatural that God has in stock for us. Let us focus on Christ. When Peter had faith, he walks on water. But when he has fear, he started sinking. We should do away with fear. The Bible says it's the fear of fear that, 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 that will make people. When he has fear, he starts seeking water. Fear will seek us. If there is a fear that is gripping and controlling our decision. Mm. You have made a decision, you set up a plan, you have a project. But you take a look at it and say, ah, it's going to be possible. How are we going to do it? Where do I get the money? Fair grip us because we look at our size, not the size of God. Bunky said, he said, when you are building a project for the Lord, do not plan it based on the size of your pocket, but based on the, on the pocket of God. Because it will supply all your needs according to riches in glory. Our financial stability, our financial provision, it is, not, it is not based on the economy of Africa or economy of this world. But it's based on the economy of God. Mm. Because it will supply your need according to your reason glory. If the bag of rice they are selling for one million, if God wants you to be eating one bag of rice per day, he will provide for you. Because he will surely meet your needs. Jesus saved you from many things. Jesus not only saved Peter from hell, but on this occasion, Jesus saved Peter from drowning. Are you drowning? Is your faith sinking? God is stretching his hand towards you tonight as he did to Peter. You will still walk on water again. That supernatural we see manifest in your life. If only you can allow him to have his way. If only you can give him chance in your life. That next project, that plan, that destiny, that project you are pursuing. You want to become this, you want to become that. It is possible. 
if you will not allow fear to grip you. When I was building our auditorium, our, our, I received instruction, I gave it to engineer to design. Well, before I started, I overlooked the project, that this project, everything that will, that will cost me is uh, like 70 million naira. Naira. But when God started at designing it, and they God say, what you are doing is too small, it's too small, it's too small. By the time I increase it, I discovered that uh, <laughs> I will need if you it will cost over 500 million era. I don't have the money, but God have the money to do it. When Idaosa was building their Idaosa water tree, they said the bricklayer, the engineer said the gravels, the sand has finished. And there's no money said, gravel don't finish. Till they finish building that place, the gravel does not finish. It did not finish. They were packing it and the thing keep on but still there. Hmm. That is supernatural. A little faith is better than no faith at all. The Lord Jesus said to Peter, he said, little faith. This means that he was capable of even greater some sustaining faith. The Bible says, if thou have faith like a most have seed, you can say to this mountain, be moved. Brother, we need to speak to any of this thing that is challenging our greatness. Mm -hmm. We must let's speak against the fear in our life. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 7, the Bible says, Who art thou great mountain before Zerubbabel, but thou shalt become a plain? He said, Not by power, not by mind, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Mm. I am seeing God connecting somebody here tonight. Mm. Amen. I could see somebody's hand higher than his head, which is connection. Jesus. Mm. There is a man of God, I'm seeing the rain falling on you, and your clothes were soaked. <laughs> Amen. That is the rain of power. Amen. I am seeing speed being released to people's lives tonight. Mm. Concerning that woman, that woman that told you about the music, I could see prophetic words, prophetic songs coming out of your mouth. Amen. And the Lord will do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. The guys in the boat, all those people, they have no faith at all. You can choose to worry or to worship God. You can choose to doubt and have no faith. The men that went from worrying about their substances to worshiping their Christ, how is your worship of the Lord going? When you look at the circumstance that surround your destiny, look and see if nothing is working. You turn to God, turn your worry to worship. Look to him. Worship him, invite his presence to your plans. All those projects, everything you want to do, table it before God. Then begin to worship God. And let him give appropriate answer to what you have written. The Bible says, when the Sunakaribud sent a letter to Eskaya, they told him, we are coming to take you to captive. Bible recorded that Ezekiah took the letter before God. Highs to highs, everything. And the Bible said the Lord read the letters, you know, as he read the letter and give appropriate answers to the incredible. 
That night, the Lord visited Sennacherib and his armies. The Lord said, he said, the word of God said, he said, present your case before me. Before. Bring forth your strong reasons, says the Lord. Yeah. What are your plans? What do you want to do? The remaining days of this year is too, is too big. It's too plenty. It is not too small for God to turn things around for you. Mm -hmm. Supernatural is allowed when you look or, when you look to Jesus. Supernatural is allowed when you recognize him. Mm -hmm. In your finance, I speak to you today, you will walk on water in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In your ministry, you will walk on water in the name of Amen. Jesus. Na koko mashida na valia. Then the malikada malesko pila ki talo bonus kupio. Le vali ga tans kan tala balash. Veli ga do na zese le fali kutan li bonus kupra la ga balash. Balinda rita le basko pro li vala de nazo ze. Every financial challenges that look as if you are drowning. Today, the hand of God is bringing you out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your final that is sinking is coming up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We have to look for Jesus. That is the only way we can experience supernatural. Mm -hmm. And what are those steps? Number one, we need the word of God. We need the word of God. The Bible says the word of God is quick and sh sharper than two edges world. Acts chapter 20, verse 32. Acts 20, verse 32. The Bible says, I commend you to God and the word of his grace. He was able to build you up. And give inheritance among them and sanctify. Mm -hmm. The word of God is very important. Yeah. It's very important. We need to study so that we will not be stupid in our life. Mm. 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 We have to study very well. So that on the last day, God will not say, I've given you all the nations as your as your cashment, but you end up, you did not leave your country. Mm -hmm. God has given you America, he has given you Europe, but all your entire ministry, your lifetime, your manifestation does not go beyond your circle, beyond, beyond where you are, your, 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 your community. But yet, God has given you the whole world, the whole nation. We need to understand what God has in stock for us. We must know God. Daniel 11, 32, the Bible says, those that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. Mm. Understanding God is very important. What has God have in stock for you? What does he have in record for your life? I pray today, May God open our heart to be able to see the supernatural in Amen. the name of Jesus. There is a challenge in somebody's life. I am seeing it as a wound, as an, as an injury. The Lord will heal you. We, we terminate the challenge in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever be challenge your life that is affecting you, that is bringing fear in your life today, that challenge is coming to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You know, Friend. see, before we finish this program, man of God, tell people to share testimony because I could see testimony piling up. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. Especially victory in the night hour, victory in the dream mm. is going to happen to people's life. Amen. Mm. 
the Lord will prove himself in our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you tonight that we worship you. That we give you the glory. Amen. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray this one prayer you take, God. Lord, help me to be stabilized. Mm. Help me to focus on you. Help me, help me to focus on you, Lord, in my life. Let's begin to pray. My my God, God. God. Father, help me to be focused on you. Help me, Lord, to be focused on you. to be Focused on Jesus' precious name, we pray. See, as we pray now, the Lord is ministering to me that will be true. There are people who so into this ministry. I've never said it before. In all this program, but I receive said, so into this ministry, and you mm. have it me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you that we bless your name, we worship you tonight, that we give you the glory. We thank you for what you have done in our life tonight. Thank you for your mighty power. Thank you for your grace. Lord, be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, Amen. we give you the glory. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for what you have done. In Amen. Jesus' name, we pray.